everyone on social media, which is to everyone but us here on Zoom. Um, my take on spirituality is about me as an individual. Oh, yes. uh, spirituality for me is an individual adventure. No one can be spiritual for me, but I can be spiritual for myself. It is an inner process. Uh, it is a relationship that an individual has with something that is greater than them, something that is a higher power. It is knowing who you are and your, what your purpose in life is. It is knowing what makes you stand out as an individual. It is believing that you were created for a purpose and knowing that you have a creator, someone who has power over your life, someone who has power over everything, which mm -hmm. in our instance, that someone would be God. That is what okay. it is to me. I'll say there, Vantubati, Akuvumi Magitule. Mm. Yes. Oh, already we have a question from Zoom platform. The question is for you, Ausubi Taitelo. The question uh, says, would you agree with other youth, with other young people saying spirituality and religion is the same? No, absolutely not. Spirituality mm. and, um, and our religion are different. Oh, yes. Because um, spirituality is more of an individual thing, but religion is about ethics. Religion is about what is right and what is wrong. But spirituality is about you as an individual, who you are. I have been created for a purpose, and I am here to, to manifest that purpose of God. Um, when, when you are a spiritual person, remember, we are created in the likeness and image of God. And God is a spirit, so we are spiritual beings. So mm -hmm. when you connect with God on a spiritual level, the, the way you see things starts to um, differ in the sense that the world starts to un unfold in a different way. You start to understand things, not just on a surface, but you see beneath what the eye sees. You start having your spiritual eyes. Woman. You start being in control of your life. You start knowing that there are other things that um, spirituality gives you meaning of life. And religion just gives you direction. You wake up in the morning. This is what you do. It's, it's, it's a day. It's a Monday. You go to work. There's, there's a difference between religion and spirituality. Spirituality, it activates every aspect of your life. It activates your, your spiritual life, your mental life, your 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 psychology, your physical life. Spirituality is not just something that is within. It also affects everything that is around you. When you are a spiritual person, let me come to a level of Tutulu. If you and I were friends, mm. and I, I wasn't into so much spirituality, but yeah. when I step into the spiritual realm, I start seeing things about you differently. I don't just mm. see you as a Tutulu. I start connecting. When you get sick, I can connect with oh, yo, to look. Yo, you got a headache, bro. That's that was, really powerful. Yeah, that that is what spirituality is. But religion is just um that is why we always say um Karana's apostolic church isn't a church exactly. It is a spiritual school because oh. it teaches you about you as an individual. What mm. are your capabilities? Who are you? How do you relate to God? That is what spirituality is. Religion just says, um, this is a sin, this is wrong, this is right. But when you are a spiritual person, remember, spirituality has got fruits. You have access to the fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From Facebook, Tidin Zimande. Mm. She's asking that how can one remain spiritually, spiritually inclined in these times of distress? How can you explain it to her, Um, uh, In this difficult time of distress, um, oh wow, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, I'm reminded of the scripture of John chapter 15, verse yeah. 4 and verse 5. Um, 
it talks about abiding in God. So, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, thank you. Um, it says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Verse 5 of it says, I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he is that bears much fruit. You don't just bear fruit. You bear much fruit. Mm. For apart from me, you cannot do anything. Amen. This is a very powerful scripture. It is. And it is from the scripture that we learn, boy. Abide. If I had to translate it to my language, mm. How do you Like a tree, you know the branches of a tree it cannot produce peaches unless its roots di So <laughs> yes. when, when God is inside you and you go deeper into the spiritual connection with God, you get to bear much fruit, regardless of any situation. You see, that is the powerful thing about a spiritual life. When you are in a spiritual life, you focus in the present. You are not worried. You forget the regrets of the past. You are not worried about the future. You focus in the present because you know whom I abide in has promised me that I can do so here. I have access to much fruit. Whatever I do, he thought I give a fruitful. Regardless of the circumstances, I can assure you, a lot of spiritual people at during this time, if they were not spiritual or if they do not have the faith that they have in God, they will tell you, if it had not been for the Lord, I don't know where I would be. Because oh, yeah. it is through him that I can face any challenge and know that I am a warrior. So, even in this pandemic, abide in God. Abide in God and get access to all those fruits told you better. You will be fruitful. Apostle Simon Mukwena, together with the Tyrannous Apostolic Church Youth Ministry, presents an online youth feast. The very first of its kind from the 14th of June till the 16th of June 2020 on a virtual platform called Zoom. To join, use the meeting ID 9988952834. And also note that it will be broadcasted live on Apostle Sama Mukwena's page on Facebook and YouTube. It's all about the hashtag YouthFest2020. Hashtag digital use Mukete. The world has become a global village. Welcome to the new normal. But what's the point of spirituality? Why we are going Spirituality, does it define you? What does spirituality does for you? Also, Rhoda, what's your take on the point of spirituality? It is that one thing that now activates that inner gift that God has given to you mm. that we cannot realize it until you give your spirituality that much power it is that special purpose that you have that special gift that god has given unto you and it can only be revealed through your spirituality so yes it is very important for you to know where you stand with your spirituality because that is the only way you're going to be able to find your purpose remember what the apostle usually say that there are two important days in your life the day you were born and the day that you found your purpose and the day you find your purpose is where you have that stronger connection with your spirituality I would say. oh yeah. and religion they interlink yeah thank you Without spirituality, there is no religion. Without religion, there is no spirituality. Mm. Oh, we have another question from Zoom. It says, Ausroda, would you agree with the notion that spirituality is for old people? 
Definitely not. Definitely not. If we look at the examples of prophets and apostles that were groomed spiritually, the likes of Abu David in Bible, they were groomed at very early age, whereby you still have your whole energy. You are able, you are powerful, you are dynamic. Those are what the apostle is instilling in our lives. At a very young age, that is where you can run with the weight. You can see clearly, you've got the power to just take it over and do whatever it is that you want. And taking it um, away from us, we the wishes. You know, when you were a child, to the, to the rules that you are given to by your parents, to the yeah. rules that you are given to by your fathers. Your fathers and your mothers, I mean, people that are grooming you in church. In, in with us is the apostle, he's our father. As a child, we believe in him to hold up. I love the hymn that says, This yeah. is saying, as a child, it is very simple. This is wrong, this is right. Because you are a child, you are still adjusting to this world. With us, as children, we abide to, to the laws that he gives to us. So as an as early childhood as we could start, we could be prophets. And he is always encouraging us to prophesy in our lives because we are dynamic, we have the power, and we are very conscious to the word that is under his word. We are under his word. We abide to the laws that he gives to us. So no, no, not do, don't wait until you 50 or 60 and say that now I can start my spirituality. Uh, it reminds me of another in is saying I was in this same It helps to know God as young as you still are because now you're growing, having instilled these principles of spirituality in your life. And when you're older now, it doesn't make things difficult for you to, 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 to dwell on them, to actually approach things in life because you were taught at an early age that these things are going to come in your life. The, the, the scriptures that we read about in the Bible where God has been holding his children's hands, they are bigger than even the dynamic that we see today. People have been through worse. And when you yeah. know God has been there holding their hands, what is this? What is coronavirus? God has pulled his children through even bigger troubles, even deeper, hard situations than this one. So you will know that it is actually a blessing to know God in the time of your youth, not when you're older. We have a question from from Facebook, Tidin Zimande. Mm. She's asking that how can one remain spiritually, spiritually inclined in these times of distress? We are in a pandemic whereby a lot of us, we, we are surrounded by a lot of negativity. So I can say to the question that has been asked, avoid surrounding yourself with negative thoughts and negative opinions, because mm. there are a lot of them going around, do away with doubt, do away with worry. How do you do that now? We've got a very powerful platform right here on on Facebook, where this is coming from, that there is always there during the day, at night, even midnight, he is there. Meditate, dwell in the word. Give yourself time for any other thing, not anything, but to say right now, this is time for me to connect with my God. I will not entertain worry. I will not entertain doubt. Instead, this is giving me time to see things in a very different way, in a way that other people don't see it in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, there's another question from Zoom. It says, does spirituality makes you happy? I, I, I don't know. My side, I, I don't know. What about you, Ausroda? Does it make you happy? It fills me with so much joy. It's, yeah. it's, it's what I just said right now. That when the world sees things in a bad way, you only see the bright side, man. Your spirituality is <laughs> in a voice. It just it's like comes so to say, ah, don't feel 
focus on the dark. Can you see this little light thing and your spirituality activate and connect to it and you see things different. You're like, oh, so this was supposed to be lemon. Ahman lemonade tiki e aria thing ilimunati. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you so much joy, so much joy that you even ask yourself, why am I so happy? You find yourself so happy that you even get scared. You know, it was instilled in us when we were growing up. But spirituality turns mm. that around and convinces you that you are made to be happy. You should not worry by the things of the world because you know the battle, it is not yours. It is the Lord's and the Lord never loses a battle. Apostle Simon Mukwena, together with the Tyrannus Apostolic Church Youth Ministry, presents an online youth fest, the very first of its kind, from the 14th of June till the 16th of June 2020 on a virtual platform called Zoom. To join, use the meeting ID 9988952834. And also note that it will be broadcasted live on Apostle Sama Mukwena's page on Facebook and YouTube. It's all about the hashtag YouthFest2020. Hashtag Digital Youth Mukete. The world has become a global village. Welcome to the new normal.